I think the important thing in any coach really is to be yourself. As a player, you try and take a lot from the coaches that have coached you, good and bad. But the most important thing really is you have to be yourself because players will see through. You can't be Mr. Sincere if you're not that sincere, really. I think you've just got to be honest to yourself and work hard. And hopefully you need a little bit of luck. We all need a little bit of luck. My name's April, April Young, and I'm the wife of David Young. A match day is pretty much a uniform day for us. He's got a routine that he likes to stick to. I don't really see him showing much on a stress level. He does try to sort of keep calm because he says if people see him getting wound up and losing his rag, then it transforms itself onto the pitch and everything can go pear shaped. As a director of rugby, there's very little you can do once across that white line, really. You can get some messages to him, you can change one or two things, you can make substitutions. But at the end of the day, your work is done in the preparation leading to that. I do think we've got some outstanding fans. They're always end up present supportive, even when we have a couple of bad performances, you know, they're always right being with the team. When he signed in 2011, I think it was a four-year contract, and within two years he had signed to extend. He's never wanted to be anywhere else. The ambition is to win silverware for the club. He's really happy. The people here, it's just one big happy family. We're all in it together. The fans, the boys are good, good squad, good off-field staff, and he loves it. Absolutely loves it. Everything I do, I put 110% into. Being a director of rugby is not really a job, it's a lifestyle. You know, you've got to live and breathe it, pretty much. And things were so dire off the field, as in financially, we knew we had lots of problems. But we were in such a mess on the field as well, as in fighting for relegation. I was trying to keep the spirits high. You know, if the players felt that we were in such trouble, we couldn't afford tape, or we couldn't have a bus, it was only going to add to a real poor spirit amongst the camp. But I needed to keep them boys believing in me, because I would tell them this would come right, which I was confident they would do. This is a good club, somebody come in, and the right person did come in, so you know, thankfully for that. But you know, for me, going through some of them difficult times, meeting a lot of supporters over that period, that were 100% behind us, I think they deserve success and you know, I'd love to be a part of it. I really want to see this job through and hopefully we can achieve something in the period that I'm here.